Hey weirdos, it's Emma Abe, and um, I'm doing a video. I'm not going to be showing my face in this video because this past week has been just really emotionally taxing, and I don't feel up to putting myself on camera. So what I decided to decided to do instead is um, this video. I've been seeing a lot of TBR stuff. People, you know, like choosing their TBR or like using a website to like randomly generate like a TBR. And I know I could easily just like put all my books into a spreadsheet, which if you've been following me, you know I have a spreadsheet, and just choose a random number from books. But I thought it would be fun to show you guys a little bit of coding because books and coding have been really the only two things that have been helping me through this really rough time right now. What I started to do is kind of create like a TBR generator and have it be a thing where you can input books that are on your TBR, you can remove books on your TBR, and it will give you a random book from your TBR list. So that's my plan. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole thing today because it's that's a lot and I have to kind of figure out how to input, output, how I want that all to look. So today I'm just going to be creating my book class. So I've decided for my compiler um, and language. So the language I'm going to be coding this in is in Java because I love Java. And I know there are other languages that would probably facilitate making something really pretty. But I don't really want something pretty, I just want something that works for me, and that's why I'm going with Java. And I'm going with BlueJay because I like BlueJay, so here's me installing it on my computer. Here's me finishing um, <laughs> getting BlueJay set up, but what I was saying is I like that BlueJay's control panel pops up as something separate, and that's why I decided to not go with the compiler Eclipse, which is another Java compiler I have on my computer. Okay, yay, I've successfully installed BlueJay. This is what it looks like when it's successfully installed. So I want to create a new project. So I'm going to call this TBR. Um, that's my project name. Oh, um, so here's my TBR. I probably should have called it TBR Generator. Can I rename project? Oh, it's fine. Uh, so let's create a new class. So since we're just creating book object, I'm just going to call this book. Um, remember, for Java, you want to title all your classes capitals. Um, okay, great. So yay, we have our book class created. Here is the class that Java automatically um, generates when you create it. Give me a second. So normally when I code, I listen to book, but I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to be narrating and I want to not get super distracted, even though I'm, I'm putting on music right now to my headphones. So this is the class that BlueJay generates for you. Again, good programming practices are to include comments and description. So book object. Um, also, all my code is going to have spelling errors and grammatical errors because I'm dyslexic and I refuse to fix that. Also, let me Put, sorry, I just have to change it to where I could see the line numbers. Okay, great. It's always great to have coders where you actually have line numbers displayed, so it's easier to talk about what code precisely you're creating. So back to the description. The book objects contain the book title, author, what is another variable I want to track? Um, I think that's going to be it for now, and I might make changes to this class as I decide to add more things. Of a book, book on my TBR. Okay, great. I'm just going to delete all of this code um, because it's not important in terms of what I want. I'm actually going to go up here, author, it's me, it's Emma Abe. Um, and then the version, I'm just going to say today's date, which is, what is it, like February 25th. Oh my god, I can't type anything today. Okay, so in terms of variables of what I'm going to track, um, we need to create the instance variables for the book class. 
So I want to keep track of the name and the author. So these are both going to be strings. So we have to a string. And since strings are technically objects, we have to have string capitalized, which is silly. I'm going to now create a constructor. So let's, so constructors are public because we want the entire world to be able to see them. And they're called the same thing as the class. So this will be book and the parameters. I'm going to have this requirement being is two strings. So what these, the string n is representing the name. So when I go and create the main method and have the user in, input the name of the book, this is where I want that to be able to go in the book class. And the same thing for a representing author. So constructors are nice because all they do is instantiate or initialize our instance variables for the most part. So we're just going to set name to n. We are going to set author to a. And that is how we give our instance variables up here actual um, values. So um, I'm going to create about five more methods for this class. And then that's going to be it for the book class, unless I decide later on that I want to have more. First thing I'm going to do is create a getter method for our name. So that would be public because we want people to see it. And since, oh my god, I can't spell public. And it's going to be a, it is going to return a string because our name value is a string. We're going to call this method get name. And it's not going to have any parameters. Oops. And all it is going to do is return the name of the book. And we're going to do the same thing with author. So it's public string because author is also a string. But the name of this is going to be get author. Okay. because I can spell things. Great, so now we have our getters for our instance variables. Now we have our setters. Oh, one thing I should also do is make these private because we don't want the entire world to know to know our instance variables and it's the whole reason that they're private is the whole reason why we have to create getters and setters in the first place. So now we're going to create our setters. We're going to be able to give these the getters a um, string value for our name and author, and it will set it for us. This is not going to return anything, so that's a high spell void. So if a method doesn't return anything, you say void. And we're going to say this set name. I'm not going to lie, writing meth classes like this is one of my favorite things to do as a computer scientist. I just find it so relaxing. Um, and also with the method declaration, we're also going to give it a parameter of a string, and I'm gonna call that string n as well. And then very similar to what we do up here in the constructor where we set name equal to n, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set name equal to n. And so now let's create the set name for the uh, author. Yeah. A. Oh, can't call it set name. So here, let me show you that error. So it's complaining and the reason it's complaining so it says method set name has already been defined so you have to make sure all of your method headers are unique if i change this to be an integer it doesn't yell at me anymore because the method header here and the method header here is different 
but we don't want it to be an integer, so we're going to change this to set author like it should be. And all we do is set author equal to A. Great. And the last method I'm going to create is a two string method. I want the two string method to basically be able to easily print out all the information in this book class. So this is also going to be public because we want everybody to, to see it. And then it's going to be void because it's not going to return anything. So, and it doesn't take any parameters because why? So it's yelling at me because it says two string book cannot override in book cannot override the two string in java.ling object. The return type is void and not compatible with a string object. So in the root class of all the classes in Java, um, there's the object class and the object has like a few methods in it. And one of them is the two string method, which I am overriding in this book class so that I can easily print out a book object and it's yelling at me because my return type is void. So in my method, it's not returning anything, but in the object class, it returns a string, which whatever. <laughs> so I have to have it be a string in order for me to actually override this. So let's create a string to hold what we want the answer to be, what we want to return. I always like to call it answer because it's just easier that way because I know all you do is return answer and it's all good. So what do I want answer? And it's yelling at me because I haven't made answer anything. Right now answer is just null and it's Java's just like, well, what is answer? So how do I want to print out the information? So I'm probably going to say something like name of book, um, have a colon and then um, to add a variable, we do that. And then what I'm going to do next is have say black slash n which is going to go to the next line and I'm going to have that say by and then and that is what I'm going to be returning on our two string so let's compile this and yay it worked Okay, so that's all I want to do for right now. Yeah, I just created my book class. So the next video in this series is probably going to be me working on the main method. Um, yeah, where I actually do the inputs and outputs and have all that storing stuff. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry this video. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't do what I normally do, but I'm having a real rough go at it and I wanted to bring you guys something that is I talk about a little bit because you guys know that I, I take computer science, but I, I, I'm a computer scientist, but I wanted to show you guys a little this is what I do. Um, I love this stuff. I teach this stuff. I'm a pretty good teacher of this stuff. So if you guys are interested in learning more about computer science, hit me up. I can have a conversation if you want me to create more videos that are like orientation stuff and um, a look at coding. Uh, let me know and I can do that. All right, I'm going to go to bed and try not to cry into my pillow. I'm fine. Really don't worry about me. If any of you guys like had contacted me recently and I haven't gotten back, it's because I've like I have not been responding to any messages I've been getting other than the ones that are, like are necessary for my survival. So like ones that, from my family. But I'm not dead. I'm alive. Um, I've just gone through something, and I don't want to talk about it. Um, this is the most. I've like talked at my home that doesn't thoroughly exhaust me. All right.
Um, anyway, I, I'm going to leave now. Um, okay. I hope you liked taking a look at some of like my code. Okay. Bye.